This is Gordy. This story is Gordy and the wolf in sheep's clothing. <coughs> So, Gordy was reading a book, and he loved reading books. His favorite book was A Wolf in Sheep's Clothing, and it was the story of eight little goats and a mommy goat, and the big, bad, scary wolf who had huge teeth and loved eating little goats. They lived in the woods. And it wasn't very safe there. They had a nice little house. And Mommy Goat always kept the doors and windows locked at night. So no big bad wolves could come in and eat them. One day, Mommy Goat had to go far away. Yes, mm -hmm, to get some food because they were running low. She told the eight little goats, I'm going to lock the door. Don't let anyone in until I come back. And you can tell by the cracks underneath the door if it's gray, it's a bad wolf. Mm -hmm. Don't let it in. Yep. And I'll... if it's white, see, then let it in. Off in. Mommy Goat went a long ways away to get some food for the little babies. She said, I won't be back until tomorrow, so you'll have to go all day and all night without me. Don't open the door for anyone. After she was gone a few hours, the big bad wolf had seen her go and thought, this is my chance. I'm going to eat all those little baby goats and they're going to be the yummiest, most delicious meal I've ever had. The big bad wolf went up to the door and tried to open it. Ah, drat, he said, it's locked. So, the big bad wolf knocked. Tick, 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 tick. It's me. It's mother dear. Let me in, please. It's mummy, they said. They all ran to let her in, but the oldest goat said, Wait! It might be someone else. Let's check under the door first before we open it. They looked under the door crack and they saw furry, hairy feet. This is not our mummy, he said. Mummy's feet are white hoofs, not furry feet. So they said, go away, go away, you big bad wolf. We're not letting you in. Well, what do you mean, my dears? It's not a wolf, it's me, your mother. It is not. We can see your feet, they said. And off the wolf went. Now he knew their trick. He knew that he, they were looking at his feet and that's how. He waited a few more hours. And he had some old goat's feet from another goat he had eaten a year ago. And he had kept the feet. He made some stilts to step on top of them and walk with them. And dusted Tied. himself with flowers. Mm -hmm. And dusted himself with flowers so he would be all white. Doop, 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 doop. He walked very wobbly, but he could walk all right to where the baby goat cottage was. And he knocked. Doop, 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 doop. Let me in, my dears. I'm back early. Oh, it's mummy, they said, and they all ran to the door to open it. Wait, said the oldest one. It might be the big bad wolf again. Let's check under the door. When they looked under the door, they saw white hoofs, and they were overjoyed. Yes, it is mummy. Let's let her in. They opened the door, and when they did, they realized their big mistake. It was a giant wolf standing on top of the legs of another goat he had killed a long time ago. They all screamed and ran and hid, here and there and everywhere. The, goal, the wolf gobbled one up, and then he gobbled another one up, and he gobbled another one up. The oldest one stayed safe. Mm -hmm. The oldest one had hidden in a place he couldn't find. The wolf left the cottage back to his den and sat there 
full of wiggly goats in his tummy. The oldest one was crying. He didn't know what to do. All his brothers and sisters had been eaten, and he was the last one left. He went to the door and locked it. At least the wolf couldn't get in to get him. And he thought, how did we get so tricked? How could we have not been tricked? Where is Mummy? The next day, Mummy came and said, Open the door, my dear. I'm here. Because it was the right time and the hooves actually looked like Mummy's hooves, he opened the door and it was Mummy. Where are the rest of them and why are you crying, my oldest one? The oldest goat told Mummy all the story of what had happened. Mummy got so angry. She said, quick, get on my back. We're going to get the baby goats back. And they charged over the hill as fast as they could. Mummy goat was, was very clever. What do you think she did? I know what she did. She, she Mm -hmm. and then sewed it back together. <gasps> Put heavy rocks in what? In the wolf. Yes. She ripped the wolf open and put a bunch of rocks in his stomach and sewed him back up so he couldn't move or go anywhere ever again. And she told him if you ever dress up as a wolf in sheep's clothing, <coughs> I mean a wolf in goat's clothing, again, then I'll do something worse to you next time. The wolf was not happy because he couldn't move and he couldn't say anything because the rocks in his tummy were so heavy. He was stuck, stuck, stuck. And he learned his lesson. He would never trick goats again. He would go eat other things that were easier and less problems. And that was the end.